well, it's too pretty to stay inside today, but as a part of social distancing and everything that's going on, I'm going to go do a 30 to 45 minute exercise, but on the way there, I figured I could at least film something for you guys while I'm out and about, and maybe, just maybe, we could see some stuff together. We are currently on International Drive, and it's the end of an era for a lot of businesses, a few businesses, in the Central Florida area. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah and welcome to another mobile episode here on the daily episodes I've been doing. Just going to be staying in my car, filming this episode, heading to a little park, going to do some exercise, but on the way there I figured, hey, I'll drive around on the way there and show you guys a few things and that way we can get an episode in. You guys can kind of get out of the house with me. Now before we get started, click that subscribe button if you're new, it'll keep you updated with my latest video. Also, if you'd like to support my channel, Please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash worldofmica. We're donating $1 a month. Can help fund episodes just like this. Links are down below. Now, let's take a closer look. Just saw on their Facebook page this place, the Whirly Dome, has officially closed its doors for good nearly eight years. This place has been open. And on their Facebook page, it says right here, after almost eight years, we were sad to announce Whirly Dome will be permanently closed. Thanks for all the great times and memories. Goodbye, we'll miss you. And it's kind of sad, I never actually got to do this thing. Did you ever get to go to Whirly Dome? If so, comment below, let me know what it was and if you enjoyed it. And it's weird seeing not a whole lot of people walking down through here. Normally, a lot of people walk to and from if they're staying on International Drive. There's lots to see and do as you're walking. So it's kind of a weird, a weird sight. But obviously the Orlando Eye or as they call it, the icon, and the star flyer, the, the big swing to the right, are not operating. It's kind of weird to see neither one of those things working. I mean, they're working, I'm just saying, not operating. But on a happy note, I have an announcement to make. It was postponed to August, but August 14th, through the 16th, 2020, I will be at Spooky Empire, a convention here in Orlando, at the Wyndham Orlando on International Drive. It's right next to Cooper's Hawk here on International Drive. Every year, I go to Spooky Empire and film it, see all the celebrities, all the different horror things, because you guys know I'm a huge horror fan. This year, I will also be there for three days, so if you guys are in the area, you're coming to the convention, if you see me, say hello, let's take a picture together, let's talk, let's interact, because I'm looking forward to this, because it'll be a huge way to interact with a lot of people, definitely need that, because being stuck at home during this whole quarantine thing is making me go a little stir crazy, I like, don't really like being around big crowds, but that's what I do. I go to theme parks, I go to conventions. Being around large crowds makes me feel at home in a way. So if you're gonna be at Spooky Empire, August 14th through the 16th at the Wyndham Orlando, I'll see you there. In fact, it's right here. There's Cooper's Hawk and that's the Wyndham Hotel. Popeyes is across the street here on International Drive and Chewy's and BJ's is right here. And for those of you who don't know what Spooky Empire is and you're curious, I'll put a link down below to a playlist of all of my past experiences at Spooky Empire. It's a really, really cool convention. I've met so many different people there from Richard Dreyfuss to Christopher Lloyd. It's just an awesome, awesome and super fun thing. I know when people think horror, they think scary and ooh, I don't know if I should go. No, it's a lot of fun. Looks like Chewy's is doing 
to go orders right there. Love that place. I'm gonna pull in here to Icon Park. This is the carry out entrance right here. Yard House is doing carry out. A lot of folks are doing carry out, man. But I wanted to come see this icon real quick. Look at that. It's all blocked off, but you can get carry out for Yard House, and I believe Uncle Julio's, but I'm only seeing a sign for Yard House right there. That's a pretty good restaurant if you've never been. Well, today's episode is gonna be rather short. I wanna get out and do some exercise and everything and wanna kinda of get off the roads, but tomorrow it's gonna to be a very, very fun episode. I'm looking forward to sharing the adventure with you guys, but it is time to say goodbye. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give me a big thumbs up it is the end of an era for a few businesses, but hopefully when all this passes through, we can get out there and really support some local businesses and help people regrow and regain strength. That is the plan. Always stay positive, guys, because remember, there's always a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. But my links are down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the day. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.